Hello and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we show you how to cook shawarma yourself. So this is shawarma made out of lamb. We use a leg of lamb as the meat source for our shawarma. Let us get started. We will firstly make a marinade that we can let our lamb marinate in overnight in the fridge. So to a Greek yogurt, 10% fat, we will add garlic plenty of garlic because it is going to be giving a lot of taste to the meat. We also add cumin as well as cayenne pepper for spice. We add a little bit of cloves, so these are just powdered cloves. And we add in some salt as well. And it is important to salt this very thoroughly because it is going to give a lot of taste to the meat and of course salt is a necessity, especially in a nice shawarma. We also grate in some fresh nutmeg and we also pepper with black pepper. For a little bit of a soury twist we add in some lime juice and we just mix it all very well with a spoon. This spice combination is going to give a lot of flavor to the shawarma and of course we do want the meat to stand in the fridge for at least 12 hours or for the overnight in order for us to have real tasty meat. So here we've got the leg of lamb that we've bought at the butchers and it's already nicely cut into thin stripes. So what we can do actually is to just separate our meat a little bit and then dump it all up into our bowl of yogurt marinade. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to afterwards just place the meat into uh, the marinade. And like I said, we use leg of lamb here. We use a tender type of meat because we are not going to braise the meat for a long time. This meat will prepare quite quickly on a hot pan. So as it is not going to, to be able to tender up over the long run it is important that it is a meat type that is already tender in itself so we will cover the bowl and put it in the fridge overnight so next day we have this meat that has marinated well it has actually drawn a lot of the marinade a lot of the taste and the yogurt uh, is sort of being absorbed by the meat and that means that it is also quite hard to separate the yogurt from the meat you will have a lot of yogurt sitting on your um, on your meat when you put it in the pan and that is totally okay so we have uh, heated up some natural tasting vegetable oil in a big pan and it is very important to not overcrowd the pan once you start adding the meat because if you do that the meat will boil more than fry of course we want a nice crust and uh, surface that is sort of almost like a grilled surface on top of our meat and it is going to be on the pan for around six minutes it is also up to the level of heat that you use we used a high heat on our pan um, afterwards we just chop up uh, lightly the the pieces of lamb just to have it sort of in smaller pieces so it, it'll be easier to consume once in a wrap so in a wrap we add our delicious spicy crunchy meat served up with some amazing vegetables we have fresh tomatoes fresh cucumbers fresh cilantro and then we will drizzle on this delicious homemade shawarma garlic dressing which is a delicious delicious treat to add and it will give a creaminess and a little bit of moisture to the wrap which is just perfect so you can slice up that wrap we have made our shawarma wrap in a sort of pizza bread that we've bought uh, but you could of course make these pita breads yourself or do uh, as you please. So we are just going to dive into this delicious shawarma wrap and uh, all we can say is please like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to our channel, we would really like to have you on board and to have your support and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Bye!